Hi guys, thanks for watching my channel. I'm Caroline and today I have a huge clothing haul to share with you guys. Pretty much all of this stuff was stuff that I got on Black Friday and then there were shipping delays and then filming delays and so here we are almost a month later and it has basically just turned into what I got myself for Christmas. I also want to just point out if you are in a position to be able to give back, if you are, you know, blessed and, and able to, to give, I would encourage it. I myself have been choosing several charities at the end of this year in order to give, one of which is Feeding America. I will put links in the description down below. This is not sponsored, this is just, you know, m me putting, you know, good, good vibes out into the universe and encouraging you to do the same. Let's go ahead and get started because there is a lot to get through. First and foremost, I guess I am just going to share kind of the least interesting stuff. I got this pack of workout tank tops from Amazon. They were such a great deal. Now that, you know, I'm home, I'm working out, I'm really thinking about, you know, what's comfortable, what's going to motivate me to get up and work out. And, you know, clothes that are comfortable is definitely it. And after I work out and get all sweaty, take a nice shower, I want to cozy up. This is basically just like an oversized men's sweatshirt. They come in a boatload of sizes. I am living in sweatshirts nowadays. I love having an oversized sweatshirt. The last thing you want to do is feel like your arms are constricting when you are, you know, at home and trying to be productive with work. So I'm definitely loving having a comfy loungewear piece to wear around the house. When I am not lounging around the house and going out and about, I definitely need my masks. I have this really, really cute mask set from Old Navy and it was super affordable and they have the adjustable ears so you can really customize that fit and make sure that it works for your nose and mouth. I love that you have all these kind of different patterns. So I am very pleased with this, especially because they have the adjustable ears to make sure that I have that nice, you know, snug fit and I'm not constantly trying to mess with it. I also got some oversized coats from Old Navy. They had some really great deals. Old Navy tends to have deals after the holidays as well. They tend to also do kind of a 50% off type of thing. So keep an eye out. You can still pick up items like this. I got a bunch of coats, guys, but let's just go through all the coats because there are just so many. I told you I got a lot of coats, guys. So this one is very similar to the Old Navy coats. This is more of a camel color. This is the Gap version. Look, Gap, Old Navy, and Banana Republic are all under the same company. So this is basically same quality, same, same, same quality, same situation. We are very happy with these coats. I love that they are so oversized. I just love the oversized fit of these coats. They're still really cozy. Something else that I really needed, although, okay. I say I really needed it. I needed some raincoats. I bought myself two new raincoats. One is short and one is a longer kind of trench style. These are both from Eddie Bauer. I went for brighter, fun colors. I always feel self-conscious about getting a black jacket and especially a black raincoat because it is just so cliche almost. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the cliche. I guess the ultimate cliche would be a yellow raincoat, right? I would be down for a yellow raincoat, to be honest. Next up are some of my favorite pieces. So these are the ultra light down pieces from Uniqlo. These are so great. Uniqlo goes on sale fairly frequently. You can find good deals and you know, you can get an ultra light down jacket for under $50. This is the jacket that will keep you warm in those brisk mornings. Um, obviously if you live in an area that snows, you're going to want a little more than this, but if you're living in a temperate climate, this is perfect. It's even for fall, you know, this is great because it's still really light. And what I love about this is that it fits into this little pouch. You're going to think I'm crazy. Do you see how tiny this pouch is? I'm trying to show you how tiny this pouch is. I mean, this is under a foot, this whole jacket folds down into that. This is a very great travel piece um, and it's still super, super warm. The vest does the same thing. It has this little pouch right in this inner pocket here. It folds down. It crumples down into this little, little pouch. Crazy. 
And again, un under $50, you can get this great, great piece. And it's cute, it goes with everything. I mean, can't go wrong with a puffy jacket. Puffy is super in right now. We're seeing that trend in purses. Puffy is not going away because it has the practical applications. I love these, I'm so excited. I feel ridiculous showing this to you guys. I bought myself seven pairs of black leggings. They are all different and they all have, you know, slight variations and they're all, you know, uh, they come from about three or four different brands. But at the end of the day, they are seven pairs of black leggings. Um, again, I had to replace leggings that didn't fit me anymore. And I, you know, ended up sell selling a bunch of old leggings and so I wanted to, to replace them. A classic black legging, can't go wrong. Um, you're going to wonder which is my favorite pair and I'll let you guess. Let me share share all of them. So the first pair here is the Aloe Airbrush Legging. I got the 7 8 length because I'm 5'2", I'm shorter, and that cropped cut is perfect. I don't have to worry about hemming the legging or tucking them in or anything like that, folding them up. 7 8 leg legging, 7 8 length legging. 7 8 length legging. <laughs> Say that like five times. Five. Ooh. Anyway. These are the Aloe Airbrush. I also got a pair of the Aloe Moto leggings to replace a pair that I no longer fit. These are the Moto leggings. They're really chic in, in, and edgy. Um, I like that they have the mesh detailing as well. This is also the 7 8 length because I am short and I don't always want to roll up my leggings. The next pair here is a pair from Victoria's Secret. This is the pink legging. I wanna say it's in the seamless contour. It looks like a black legging, but it has um, it has some ribbed detailing up on the waistband up here. The next pair we have here is a pair from Marika. I wanna say that I got these for two for $25 as part of their Black Friday deal. They also occasionally have these after Christmas sales. So keep an eye out. You may, uh, it's kind of like one of those deals, like each day is a new deal. So always check back on their website. You can get some really great styles. This has kind of a zebra flame kind of, what, what do you want to call this? Kind of like a silicone grippy on the side of the leg. And I want to say it serves absolutely no functional purpose because why would you want grippies on the side of your leg? But it's a design style feature. It kind of, you know, gives it something different. I also got another pair of Marika leggings because again, two for 25, so I got my two. And this one has a stripe on the side. Gives it a little something different. Um, it's still a little sporty, but different. Amongst my seven pairs of black leggings, I got one different pair. No, I'm just kidding. I got I, every pair is different. Um, this pair here is a faux, faux leather look from Bloomingdale's. This is from Aqua, uh, the Bloomingdale's brand, and you know they just look like your high average high waisted um, faux leather legging. They look and feel soft. Do they feel as buttery as real leather? No, but and they have this weird smell. They smell. Um, I just got lipstick on them. They, they do smell, but I think it'll go away. I haven't washed these yet. So um, I think the smell will go away with the wash, but just keep that in mind when you first take it out. Don't be afraid. They do have a scent. And not last but not least, I do have my party leggings. See, I told you all these leggings are different. So these are a pair of high-waisted sequin leggings from Express. I've been dying for a pair of high-waisted sequin leggings for the longest time. It is like totally a New Year's Eve party look, except I ain't going anywhere for New Year's Eve this year, kids. But I might just stay at home and wear these leggings with some heels and a, and a cocktail. Um, I've been wanting these for a really long time and I'm glad that I got a good deal. They were under $50 from Express. Have you guessed which one of these are my favorite pair of leggings? Have you guessed? Let's do a recap. Sequin, faux legging, Woo! stripe, we got that weird silicone grippy, the Victoria's Secret pink, aloe moto, and aloe airbrush. 
it's this one. <laughs> I think the aloe airbrush one is going to be my favorite because it's so versatile. It's just your basic black legging, but it is quality. Everyone says, oh, why would you spend over $100 for a pair of leggings? Honey, one, it was under $100, but it's just, you can feel a quality difference. I even tried them on again right before this video and just pulling them on, like compared to pulling on the Victoria's Secret leggings, look, they have a very similar look. You're gonna look and you're gonna say, mm, that's a pair of black leggings. That looks like a pair of black leggings. You'd be right, they do look very similar on. But when you're pulling them on, you can just feel that comfort difference. The aloe leggings are super soft and they're my favorite. I've spoken about aloe yoga leggings on this channel before and you know, one of the big things is when you choose quality products, they last longer and you can keep them. The only difference is if you gain weight, like I have, and you can't fit them anymore. That's the only reason why I had to replace all my leggings. It's not because they wore out. I would say a very close second would actually be these Marika grippy leggings. I have uh, no idea why these grippies are here. It serves no functional purpose. I truly think it's just aesthetic, but they are so soft. I mean, my God, they are like the softest thing. I, they, they are softer than a Barefoot Dreams blanket. Yeah, I said it, controversial, I know. They are so soft. To go with all my crazy black leggings, I got some very classic black plaid shirts from Gap. Again, Gap also has some really great deals. Typically, if I'm remembering correctly, after Christmas, they tend to have 50% off everything kind of sales. So you can pick up, you know, really great shirts like these. I got some over, I got these oversized. I probably could have, again, gone down in size. I got a medium, but I like them to be loose and I like them to be on the longer side, especially if I'm wearing them with leggings because then I can, you know, cover the bum for a little bit more uh, conservative crowd. But it's also great because you can actually, you know, unbutton the bottom buttons and tie it up to be kind of like a crop style. So I always like my plaid shirts to be on the larger side. I got some black Nike shoes, pretty much just to walk around in. I'm working out from home and doing Pilates and a lot of the Pilates that I'm doing don't involve um, the need for like foot support. Um, but maybe now that I have new shoes, I can make my workouts a little bit more diverse, a little bit more versatile and break these in. I think they are so cute. I've been wanting like a black on black sneaker for the longest time. Cause sometimes I feel like you get a black sneaker and it's just ruined cause it looks so chunky when the sole is white and it gets dirty cause it's the sole. Really wanted a pair of black on black. I really miss Disneyland and I want to wear these to Disneyland and run around the park. In that same vein, I got some wishful thinking gifts from Baze. Baze Travel is a company from Shea Mitchell. And I mean, ugh, I really like this stuff. It's actually, it's not leather. So if you're vegan, you know, good to know. It's not leather, but it feels really high quality. Sometimes when you get pieces that are not, you know, natural fabrics, they feel cheap, they feel plasticky. I am impressed with the way that this feels. Like, I'm not gonna go out and say this feels like Italian leather that costs hundreds of dollars. It doesn't, but it feels way nicer than the like 25 bucks that I pay for this. This is a behind the seat kind of airplane caddy. When you're on the airplane, this kind of just tucks into the seat pocket in front of you. There's ma a magnetic closure that you can see and it just has all the little pockets that one might need. So you don't have to keep rifling through your carry-on. You can put in, you know, your handy uh, sanitizing wipes, your hand sanitizer, tissues, uh, eyeglass cleaners, headphones, you name it. This is really nice and convenient. It also has a zipper pouch on the back. So you can put in things like your boarding pass, your passport, um, a spare pair of socks. I think that you can also go ahead and, you know, when you're storing it in your bag, yeah, the magnets will work the other way. It kind of looks odd folded the other way. Uh, but if you wanted to protect things from falling out of those pockets, you definitely can do this and then just stick it into your backpack when you get to your destination. I also have the on-the-go carry case from Baze. How freaking cute is this? This is just perfect for 
sticking in your carry-on as well. There's two compartments. One says, we're here, and the other one says, let's go. So you can put different items that you need for different stages of the flight. So maybe, oh, oh this is the insert. This does not go. Um, but it's, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. So maybe, you know, when you're taking off, you want to go ahead and put makeup remover wipes or, you know, contact lens solution on one side. And on the other side, maybe you want to put your makeup. Um, and what's great about that is you do have this little compact mirror and it stands up. So you can just put this on your nice and sanitized seat back tray, do your makeup, and this can just live in this little this little uh, pocket right in the front here. How handy is that? So handy. I've gotten so much travel stuff. This is from Mark and Graham. It is a personalized travel jewelry case. I did not expect it to be this big. I don't know in what world this is a travel jewelry case, um, but it's personalized so I can't return it. If, if it wasn't personalized, I think I, I would return it. One thing that might be nice about this is if you're going to a destination and you have a lot of trinkets, you can hold more than just jewelry in this. It's, you know, there are a lot of different bits and bobs and, and different pouches and everything. Or if you go somewhere and you are buying a lot of jewelry, they have really great protective pouches. And I really love that it can hold like my bigger pieces like a choker, which doesn't fit in those tiny jewelry, you know, travel cases that they have. Like a round choker just doesn't fit. So I like that this will fit things like that, but it is large. This is gonna take up a lot of suitcase space. So I might have to fill this up with things like charging cords or something, it is huge. This is the last thing, I promise. This was my big, big Christmas gift to myself. I normally like to wait until Christmas to open it, but look, it is what it is. <laughs> what is it? It is the Coach Cassie 19. If you've watched my Coach bag collection video, you will say, hmm, Caroline, didn't you say you would never, ever get the Coach Cassie? I did say that, and I stand by that. This is the Cassie 19. <laughs> I know it's a technicality, um, but part of the reason why I wasn't interested in the Coach Cassie was because I was afraid it was too big, it was too floofy, and it looked a little bit too much like the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. This has a little bit more of a square shape. Let me go ahead and kind of remove some of this, this packaging. What I love about this is that it has three different handles. If you're traveling, how cute is it to go to maybe a nice winery during the day with this tiny little handle? Then you have this long kind of crossbody handle for you know sightseeing. If you want to be a little bit more hands-free and you don't wanna worry about having a little baggie with you, you can add kind of the chain handle. It comes with the chain handle, so you don't have to buy another accessory. If you're interested in bag accessories, I have a bag accessory video, but this is great because it comes with it. Like I said, I was never gonna get a Coach Cassie, but this is the Cassie 19, so it's different. I will be doing a full in-depth, you know, mod shot, what fits inside, kind of the standard. Make sure that you're subscribed down below so you can be sure to catch that when it goes live in the new year. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and bearing with me through this long and crazy haul. If you made it this far, please leave the word wishes in the comments down below so I know that you made it to the end. Thank you so much, guys. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Again, if you're able to and can you know, pay it forward, please consider doing so. Again, I will recommend some of my charities down below. Not my charities, but the charities that I've chosen to give to. Nevertheless, I am still looking forward to 2021. I will see you in the new year. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe so you can see that Coach Cassie video and Coach Cassie 19. Gosh, see guys? It's a technicality. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, until next year, bye.